Hi, art friends. I want to welcome first and second grade to art today. Today we're going to talk about line. And this is my friend Larry, the line. And I'm going to show you guys how to do all kinds of fun lines and teach you a poem that I learned from my favorite teacher, Cassie Stevens, okay? So you guys can follow along with me or back the video up and say it with me the second time or laugh at me or whatever you like because it's pretty funny, okay? So we're going to talk about one of the elements of art. We have line, shape, color, form, texture, value. And today we're going to talk about line with Larry, okay? Are you ready, Larry? He's ready, okay. Larry the line was a friend of mine. He could make three straight lines. Vertical, diagonal, horizontal. Any curve he could learn with a twist and a turn. And when he got out of his tangle, he could make a great angle. Any line he could make, after all, he's a snake. So this is Larry, and Larry and I want to talk to you about line. Because if you can draw all the lines, then you can draw a beautiful picture. So the first line I want to talk to you about is the horizontal line. Okay, if you're going to have a flower in your drawing and you've got a beautiful stem and it's a gorgeous flower and you've colored it so beautifully and you want to put it on the earth, then you're going to have to come over here and put your flower on the earth. Can you see that? So here's my flower, just in case you can't see it in the drawing because I used pink. There's my drawing. There's my flower. And now that I've put my horizontal line, it looks like my flower is sitting on the earth. Yes? So now that's where they get horizon line. I could have some mountains sitting back there on my horizon. I could have the sun going down back there on my horizon. Whatever I'm doing, but when I look out over the horizon when the sun is going down, it is going down behind the horizon line. So therefore, it got its name horizon line okay so now you're going to have the vertical line i'm standing straight up vertically but if i were to lie on my bed i would be horizontal right and if i sit up i'm now an angle so you've got horizontal lines vertical lines and angles or diagonals right the angle is a two-sided this is an angle, right, let me use the black one. This is an angle, and this is a diagonal, horizontal, vertical, right? Okay, so those are some important lines that we need to know about. Some other fun lines we need to know about, I call this one the loop-de-loop. -loop. And you just make a big loop and go down, and I use my whole wrist when I'm drawing a loop-de-loop, -loop. Because if I just do this with my hand and I leave my hand on the, on the board, then I can't get a very big loop-de-loop -loop because I'm only limited to as far as my fingers can go, right? So if I lift my wrist up off of the paper and I use my whole arm and my wrist, I can make lots of loop-de-loops and they're really fun to do. And when I'm doing them on the paper that we're going to paint, I really want to use my wrist and my whole arm, not just my hand to draw the loop-de-loop, -loop. okay? Next, we're going to have the zigzag, up, down, up, down. So what the zigzag is, is a couple of diagonal lines, one that goes this way and one that goes this way. One that goes this way, one that goes this way, this way, this way, this way, up, down, up, down. And it's very controlled and even. It's not this, because that is scribbling, right? And we don't want to scribble. We want to draw a zigzag, okay? So there's my zigzag snake, Larry's cousin, okay? The next one we're going to learn about is the wavy line. 
Again, if I do this on my paper, I'm going to have a very small line. The, the wavy curvy line doesn't have any points on it. So I'm not drawing this yet. I'm drawing this. I call it the smiley face, frowny face. So I'm going to do, if I do it this way, you can see it better. If I do it this way, it's a frowny face, smiley face, frowny face, smiley face, frowny face, smiley face. See my frowny face? Smile, frown, smile. And I'm losing my whole wrist. It's kind of like drawing a snake, okay? So that's our wavy line. And we can put the zigzag line inside, All right? And now my snake is decorated. Okay, there's just a couple more and then we're gonna do our project, okay? So it's a fun idea before you do this project to get a piece of paper and practice some of these lines. This is a straight vertical line. When you take that straight line and you bend it ever so slightly, then you get a curved line. That's my little snake that's right here. He's a curved line. You see him? He's not straight anymore. He, somebody bent him a little bit. So when you wanna draw a curved line, it's kind of like part of a rainbow, right? It's got a little bit of a curve to it, yes? So that one's fun to practice, all right? Then you're gonna have your diagonal line. And your diagonal line is kind of like the letter X. You've got that, it fell over, and then it fell over that way, yes? Or maybe you can draw it on the side of your paper like this and then come back and do some of these. All of these are diagonal lines. This one's going this way, and those guys are going that way, but you've got a diagonal, okay? And then I'm just gonna show you one more, and then we're gonna put them all together, okay? The last one is what I call the scalloped edge. If you're gonna draw a bird's wing or something, you might wanna do the letter U, the letter U, the letter U, and maybe that would represent sort of a butterfly, I mean, I'm sorry, a bird's wing. But if I do the letter N, 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 I'm going to have a bat's wing. So the letter N, 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 I'm going to get a bat's wing, right? Put a little head on it, and boom, there's my bat. But if I draw it the other way, I'm going to get a bird's wing or an angel's wing or something. So it all depends on what kind of wing of your animal you're doing. Are you doing a bird wing? Or are you doing a bat wing? Okay, that's called a scalloped edge. Another thing that's good for the scalloped edge is if you have a little drawing like this and your flower is in the middle of this paper and you wanna frame it, you can come around the outside and do the letter ends all the way around and you've got a scalloped edge all the way around your little frame and you can decorate it, okay? So that one's good for that. So you don't wanna confuse the scalloped edge with the wavy line because the scalloped edge has, sort of has little points on it where the wavy line has none, okay? So you're gonna get a Sharpie now and you're gonna get a piece of paper and on your Sharpie, I used paint on this one. I have these little um, squeeze bottles that have a sponge on the end and to get this one that I did in class with everyone, we used a squeeze bottle with a sponge and you just right with the sponge and you get that nice fat line. But if you don't have that, you can get a fat tip Sharpie and it'll do the same thing, okay? But you don't wanna use a watercolor a marker so much because if you're gonna paint it later, you gotta be real careful that the paint doesn't run all into your paint. But if that's all you have, use a marker, okay? So we're gonna start with our zigzag line. So we're gonna go at the top of the page and we've practiced all these lines a bunch of times, right? So now we're ready. We're gonna come up here in this top section of our paper and we're gonna do a zigzag line. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down for our zigzag line, yeah? And if you have a fat Sharpie, it makes a really nice fat line. More so than like a fine tip Sharpie. You want a fat, fat, fat Sharpie. Actually, my Sharpie honestly could be a little fatter, but that'll work. My second line we're gonna do is a loop-de-loop. -loop. So I'm gonna pull my line and come around and do a loop. And my hand is kind of 
making these big loops using my whole arm, not just my hand. So I'm not doing this, I'm doing this. Okay, then I'm gonna do my wavy line. Frowny face, smiley face, frowny face, smiley face, frowny face, smiley face. Yeah? And now I'm going to do my letter U, 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 and that's my scalloped line. The one line I didn't show you is a line dot, line dot. It's called a broken line. So you've got a line dot, line dot, line dot. That one's kind of fun too. And last but not least, I've got my curved line. And if I want to do another one, another curve, another curve, I've got my diagonal lines. Maybe I'm going to do a couple this way. And last but not least, I need a swirl, yes? So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to fill this space with a big cinnamon bun swirl. Okay, and if your swirl is too small, maybe you need to make it bigger or practice your swirls. That was the one little line we didn't do. So whenever I do a swirl, I don't wind it up too, too, too much. I just come and make it like a cinnamon bun. And I think about how big I would like that cinnamon bun to be. Because if you draw one this big, I'm going to tell you, put that cinnamon bun back in the oven because it needs to be bigger. And you don't want to put it all on top of itself. You don't want to wind it up like a spring. You just want to kind of do it like a snail. As a matter of fact, we can even draw a snail with that. We can put a head on it. We can put a tail on it. And boom, we have a snail. All right, I hope you guys had fun with that. If you want to, you can come back with some paint. And you can use the six colors in the rainbow to paint your drawing. So I, whatever kind of paint you have, I just took the spaces that I had here, and in each section, if your line goes all the way from one side to the other, you have a section now. So you could paint this section red, the next section orange, the loops yellow, the next section green, the next section blue, the next section purple, and then start all over again. Do some red, do some yellow, do some orange, and so on and so on until you get the whole thing painted like this right here, and you have all the colors that are on the color wheel. There's six colors on the color wheel that you can use. If you buy a little paint deck from Walmart for $1.97, it has all the six colors in the rainbow. And I would just start at one end of my um, color set, and I would start painting my first section one color, my next section another color, and so on and so on. Just be sure that when you do your lines, you, you start at one end and end at the other because that closes your sections, okay? So have fun practicing your lines, and if you have a paint set that you can go back and paint it with later, that would be awesome. Feel free to look at the other lessons. Maybe you wanna draw a teacup too, because our artist this week is Heather. Galler. All right. Bye, art friends. See you next time.